Japanese fighter called Mongo. He's better than Matty Pacquiao, man. Pacquiao. Good. The most efficient hunting machine in all the boxing. He's vicious. He's the dynamo from Japan, electrifying the boxing world with his precision strikes and knockout prowess. The monster. <laughs> We are talking about Naoya Inoue, whose journey from the streets of Zama to the global boxing stage is a tale of relentless ambition and skill. Renowned for his impeccable timing, lightning fast speed, and devastating punching power, Inoue has an 88.4% knockout ratio. Is he the most formidable boxer of his era? That's for you to decide. But one thing's for sure. Every time Inoue steps into the ring, it's not just a fight, it's a masterclass in the art of boxing. He's only the second male boxer to become the undisputed champion in two weight classes in the four belt era. Isn't it something special? Let's begin with his early life. Born on April 10, 1993 in Zama, Kanagawa, Japan, Naoya Inoue emerged from a land known more for sumo wrestling than boxing. His journey is a testament to breaking stereotypes and carving a unique path in combat sports. Inoue's destiny was shaped by his town's ancient heritage, warrior spirit, and stories of valor. He was destined to be a modern-day gladiator. Inspired by his father, a former amateur boxer, Inoue's boxing destiny was set early on. His father's influence was pivotal, guiding young Naoue and his brother Takuma into the boxing ring. But what was it about boxing that captivated Naoya? Was it the thrill of the fight, the discipline, or the desire to be the best? Inoue's early years blended hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. His early career was a testament to his grit and determination. He didn't just train, he transformed himself into a fighting machine. Have you seen him fight to the fullest? Oh man, seems that he fights only to win. Inoue's journey began in the amateur ranks, where he claimed victories in the Japanese Interscholastic Athletic Meeting and the Japanese Junior National Championships in 2009. Imagine the electrifying atmosphere as a 16-year-old Inoue, known for his lightning-fast reflexes and powerful hooks, navigates his way through the tournament. His footwork is sharp, dodging punches with cat-like agility before unleashing his own combinations, leaving opponents stunned and the crowd roaring. Inoue dominates, eventually claiming the coveted title. Stepping into the international arena for the first time, Inoue faces boxers from across Asia. In the semifinals of the Asian Youth Championships, he delivers a masterclass defeating Mongolian boxer Bilgun Batulga with a dominant 11-2 score. His power was evident as he secured another knockout victory against Omirbek Kudai Burganov from Kazakhstan. However, his journey is halted in the final by the experienced Iranian boxer Masud Riji, a humbling defeat that fuels his determination to improve. The Japanese sensation bounced back with a bang. With an incredible record of 79 wins and just six losses, including 48 knockouts, his amateur career showcased his exceptional power and explosiveness. But Inoue wasn't content with amateur laurels. In 2012, he turned professional, signing with the Ohashi Boxing Gym. Fiercely committed, he ensured his contract included a clause vowing to avoid easy opponents, indicating his career-long pursuit of challenging fights. On October 2, 2012, his professional debut was a thunderous statement. Facing Filipino national champion Crimson Omayao, Inoue wasted no time, dispatching him via a fourth-round knockout. Curious about the scene? There were mad punches in the first two rounds. Inoue upped the tempo, his relentless pressure suffocating Omayao. A flurry of punches rained down, forcing Omayao onto the ropes. A brutal body shot doubled him over, and the referee stepped in, issuing a standing eight count. The crowd roared, sensing the finish was near. What's going to happen? Omayao, visibly winded, tried to fight back, but Inoue anticipated his every move. A perfectly timed left hook to the liver crumpled Omayao to the canvas, 
He rose at the eight count, but his legs were gone. A flurry of punches culminating with a powerful right hand knocked Omayao down. Just see how Inoue ended this one. This stunning knockout victory set the tone for his professional career. The Japanese boxing marvel continued to shatter records and expectations with every punch. His journey, marked by historic wins and relentless determination, unfolded like a saga scripted for the ages. Inoue's meteoric rise continued. He won his next two fights handily, further sharpening his skills and building momentum. By August 2013, he had captured the Japanese light flyweight title, adding another accolade to his growing collection. His fight against Roichi Taguchi was seen as his toughest test, but Inoue prevailed, dominating Taguchi for 10 rounds. The last 15 seconds were full of unseen punches. Soon after, he claimed the OPBF light flyweight belt, solidifying his regional dominance. What's next? In a display of sheer dominance, Inoue clinched the OPBF light flyweight title with a decisive fifth round TKO against Herson Mancio on December 6, 2013. That same day marked a familial triumph as his younger brother, Takuma Inoue, debuted with a win. Curious to see furious Inoue mocking his opponent with unlimited punches? Just see this. The stage was set for Inoue's ascendancy in boxing storied halls. However, Inoue's ambitions extended far beyond regional titles. He set his sights on the world stage, and his opportunity arrived in April 2014. Facing the experienced Adrian Hernandez for the WBC light flyweight title, Inoue showcased his exceptional talent. Inoue attempted to punch Hernandez to the ground. It looks so brutal, isn't it? Hernandez got up, gathering all his courage and leftover energy, but he could not make it. Here are those winning moments. He finally became a world champion in just his sixth professional fight. With every fight, Inoue was building momentum, his confidence growing, and his reputation for ferocity solidified. Inoue's defense against Smartlek Kokaitjim further solidified his dominance, outclassing Kokaitjim to defend his title successfully. Eager for greater challenges, Inoue vacated his light flyweight crown to face WBO junior bantamweight champion Omar Andres Narvaez on December 30th, 2014. In a stunning display, Inoue dispatched Narvaez in the second round, marking his territory in the super flyweight division. Not sure how he did it? Just like this. Despite an injury that temporarily sidelined him, Inoue returned with a vengeance. He dismantled Warlito Parenas and David Carmona, showcasing his resilience and skill. His victory over Pechbarngborn, Kokaitjim, underscored his unmatched ability in the ring. The bout against Kohai Kono on December 30th, 2016, further exemplified Inoue's boxing mastery. Kono, a seasoned champion, fell into Inoue's relentless attack, highlighting Inoue's superiority in the super flyweight division. Let's recall his winning moments. In the fifth round, Kono came out swinging wildly, desperate to salvage his title. But Inoue was a whirlwind, dodging blows with cat-like reflexes. A brutal left hook to the liver doubled Kono over, and the referee waved it off. Inoue's right arm was raised in victory, the new WBO super flyweight champion. That's how to win it with style. The question everyone was asking, when would he challenge for the world title? The world stage awaited the monster, and he was ready to conquer it. Inoue's debut on the American stage came on September 9, 2017, against Antonio Nies. This wasn't just a fight, it was an opportunity for Inoue to prove his talent on a global platform. Oh, Dominating from start to finish, Inoue forced Neves to concede, showcasing his lethal precision and power on a global platform. Inoue's ambition knew no bounds as he announced his move to the bantamweight division, seeking to conquer new heights. His swift victory over Jamie McDonald for the WBA regular bantamweight title on May 25, 2018 was a testament to his relentless pursuit of greatness. 
participating in the World Boxing Super Series, Inouye faced and defeated Juan Carlo Payano and Emmanuel Rodriguez, each victory more emphatic than the last. His historic win against Nonito Donaire, overcoming adversity and injury, was not just a testament to his skill, but his indomitable spirit, earning him the Muhammad Ali trophy and cementing his legacy. It is some next level fighting. Each chapter of Inoue's career celebrates his victories and enduring legacy in the annals of boxing history. Originally slated to face WBO bantamweight title holder John Rael Casimero, on April 25, 2020, Inoue's plans were upended by the COVID-19 pandemic. How did he respond? By stepping into the ring with Jason Maloney on October 31st at the MGM in Las Vegas, delivering a breathtaking seventh round knockout. What's next? Facing IBF mandatory challenger Michael Dasmarinas on June 19, 2021 in Paradise, Nevada, Inoue showcased his devastating body punching, achieving a third round stoppage with three knockdowns. His victory propelled him towards undisputed bantamweight supremacy. He was going high and unbeatable. Inoue then defended his bantamweight crown against Aran Dipayen on December 14, 2021 in Tokyo. It was the time of overcoming pandemic-related challenges that limited the bout's global broadcast. Yet, he emerged victorious with an eighth-round technical knockout. How does it feel, one wonders, to defend your honor in front of your home crowd, to fight not just for titles, but for legacy? Inoue's rematch with Nonito Donaire became a spectacle on June 7, 2022. He entered as the favorite, and his technical knockout solidified his dominance, making him Japan's first-ever three-belt title holder. It's a significant moment of pride and accomplishment, isn't it? In his quest for undisputed glory, Inoue faced Paul Butler on December 13, 2022. His victory by an 11th round technical knockout was a testament to his unmatched skill and determination. This elevated him as the first Japanese boxer to reach undisputed championship status in the four belt era. See how he wore it. What does it mean to reach such a milestone to stand alone at the summit of your sport? Ascending to the super bantamweight division, Inoue targeted unified champion Stephen Fulton. Their battle, postponed to July 25, 2023, due to Inoue's injury, was proof of his resilience and ambition. He trained diligently, fueled by the burning desire to prove himself in the new weight class. Let's see how it all happened. The bell clanged and Inoue showcased his signature aggression, undeterred by the earlier postponement. His lightning-fast jabs kept Fulton at bay, while his calculated body shots chipped away at the champion's defense. Fulton, known for his counterpunching, struggled to find his rhythm against Inoue's relentless pressure. Sensing Inoue's dominance, Fulton adopted a more cautious approach. He tried to utilize his footwork and boxing skills to frustrate Inoue, but the monster read his every move. A perfectly timed right cross in the fifth round stunned Fulton, highlighting Inoue's adaptability and precision. Despite Fulton's valiant efforts, Inoue's relentless pressure wore him down. A brutal body attack in the eighth round forced Fulton to take a knee, showcasing Inoue's relentless pursuit of victory. By the final bell, the judges awarded Inoue a unanimous decision, crowning him the unified super bantamweight champion. Next on, the Saitama Super Arena pulsated with anticipation on December 26, 2023. Naoya Monster Inoue, already a force in the super bantamweight division, set his sights on history, aiming to become an undisputed champion by facing Marlon Tapales, the WBO champion. What followed was a masterclass in boxing, culminating in a dominant knockout victory and further solidifying Inoue's legendary status. But what drives a champion like Inoue to not just win, but to dominate across division? From the opening bell, Inoue displayed his signature aggression. His lightning-fast jabs found their mark, snapping Tapales' head back repeatedly. Tapales, a skilled southpaw, tried to counter, but Inoue's footwork and defense were impenetrable. By the end of round four, Tapales' face was already showing signs of punishment. 
Sensing Inoue's dominance, Tapales adopted a more cautious approach. He tried to utilize his boxing skills and movement to frustrate Inoue, but the monster remained patient, picking his shots with precision. A perfectly timed right cross in the seventh round sent Tapales to the ground for the first knockdown, showcasing Inoue's power and timing. Inoue, smelling victory, went in for the kill. A relentless body attack in the ninth round wore Tapales down further. In the tenth round, a thunderous right hand connected flush on Tapales' chin, ending him for the final time. The referee waved it off and Inoue's arm was raised in victory, etching his name in boxing history as an undisputed champion. Looking ahead, Inoue is poised to defend his undisputed super bantamweight titles against WBC mandatory challenger Luis Neri. This upcoming battle promises to add yet another thrilling chapter to Inoue's illustrious career. But wait, we've got an update here. Naoya Inoue vs. Luis Neri Undisputed Showdown is set for May 6th at Tokyo Dome. How will the monster continue to inspire, to defy expectations, and to connect with fans who see him not just as a boxer, but a symbol of relentless pursuit of greatness? The way Naoya Inoue is thrashing his opponents is brutal. He skillfully dismantles his opponent's defenses, setting up combinations with perfect punch selection and setting traps for the next combination. With his unique ability to throw his left from unorthodox angles, Inoue displays shades of Thomas the Hitman Hearn's legendary right. But how does Inoue systematically break down his opponent's defenses step by step? Before we continue, a quick pause. If you're gripped by the journey of Naoya Inoue, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more stories from the world of combat sports. And hey, why not share this video with a friend who's just as captivated by the stories of these incredible athletes? Let's continue with the thundering saga of Naoya Inoue. The future for Naoya Inoue looks as bright as his past. With his eyes set on more titles and bigger challenges, the journey of the monster is far from over. But what's next for Inoue? Which mountains are left for him to climb in the boxing world? As Inoue continues to dominate, the boxing community buzzes with potential matchups. Fans speculate about future fights with other champions and legends of the sport. Each potential fight is not just a contest, it's a chapter waiting to be written in the legacy of Naoya Inoue. But who will be his next opponent? What epic battles await him in the ring? Inoue's success has had a profound impact on boxing in Japan. He's not just a champion, he's an icon who has brought international attention to Japanese boxing. His influence is seen in the increasing popularity of the sport and the rise of new talents in Japan. Behind every fight, there's a story of preparation and training. Inoue's training regimen is a blend of traditional methods and innovative techniques. His dedication to training is a key component of his success. But what goes on behind the scenes? You can't see it the way he trains hardest. Boxing is as much a mental game as it is physical. Naoya Inoue's mental strength is a cornerstone of his success. He understands that physical talent alone isn't enough. By prioritizing mental preparation, embracing challenges, and fostering a growth mindset, he has emerged as a dominant force in boxing, setting the stage for even greater achievements in the future. His connection with fans? It is a vital part of his journey. His humility and respect for his supporters has earned him a loyal fan base. As we look to the future, it's clear that Naoya Inoue's legacy is still being written. Each fight, each victory adds another layer to his story. How will he continue to shape the world of boxing? As fans, we're not just witnessing the rise of a great fighter, but the evolution of a public figure unafraid to break molds and explore new territories. What are your thoughts on Naoya Inoue's multifaceted career and personal life choices? Let's hear from you. Thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with us today. Remember to come back next week to get all the best that the fighting world has to offer. See you in the next video.